Hi, as promised last time, I'm going to show you two additional options out of Iverson Cut. Both of them are similar and uh, I saw it run by uh, coach Ettore Messinas, uh, Armani Exchange Milan and coach Dusko Ivanovic, uh, Kiroad Basconia. Uh, this year and last year yearly campaign. Both of them uh, have a good situation playing uh, pick and roll on the side and some additional movement on the weak side uh, if that side pick and roll uh, couldn't be executed on the way we want. Coach Messina ran this offense in uh, last year Turkish Airlines Euroleague season. It starts with Iverson cut, then a ramp screen for a screener, and if nothing happened, the ball changed side, and in continuation, it's a side pick and roll. Spacing and a chance for a penetration with finish with foul. In the real time, it looks like this. Basconia did a very good job defensively playing here, but even so, uh, Armani find a situation to draw the foul. This year, similar situation from coach Dusko Ivanovic of Basconia. Side pick and roll after Iverson cut and then pin down and cut and again step up pick and roll which is also a great op offense which creates an open look for uh, Basconia players against the Ceska Moscow. In the real time it goes something like this. Very quick screen, pocket pass, a jumper. Now, this is how my team runs and execute that offense. We have an Iverson cut and a pass to the cutter while the other wing opens the sides and goes on the other side. After pass, point guard cuts to the weak side, four sets the run screen and pop up while five set the screen for two. And then we have a side pick and roll situation. If the defense is not ready, we can finish just out of this because it's completely open side. And if you have a good players who can run this, you can find a good solution. If nothing happens, we swing the ball on the other side. We are using Lithuanian cut to set the pin to set the cross screen for a big guy and then we have an option with the handoff so either inside pass after cross screen or handoff and pick and pop with uh, 4 and 2 we run it this as you can see after after Iverson cut and the pass we have a ramp screen point guard cuts to the weak side and the defense didn't react good which allowed my big guy to finish easily. Now the similar situation we run is when a point guard cuts to the strong side so he makes the pass to the cutter and goes to the strong side. Now we can play regular pick and roll here or we can play corner pick and roll which creates some uh, different situations for us. We have a good spacing on the weak side and that will give us opportunity to finish from the corner pick and roll. Now, in slow motion, it looks like this. 
we have an Iverson cut pass and then the point guard instead of the weak side he cuts to the strong side corner receives the pass a guard creates a mess here and we have a pick and roll situation in this case the opponent played ice defense so we try to find a solution on the way how we are attacking ice defense which create us a very good three-point look again understanding of the game is really really important to play any kind of basketball offense including this one so it was very good solution now it was pretty decent defense but after this ice we find an open look and a three-point game so with this video we finished the series of uh, Euroleague coaches offenses which were running or still running by my teams uh, hopefully you saw the explanations and executions which could help some coaches to see the opportunities out of different situations and uh, hopefully you all enjoy this so like or as I said previously dislike thanks for watching